Good morning, Craig Howard here. Did you play with Play-Doh when you were a kid? I did. Uh, maybe you still have children and you, you have some in your home, or maybe you have some there for your grandkids, or <coughs> maybe you have it around for the original purpose that it was designed. Did you know that Play-Doh was originally designed for the purpose of removing soot from the walls? <laughs> That's what it was designed for. But it wasn't long before they found out kids love to play with it and shape it and mold it and and do something interesting with it. And then Play-Doh, after years and years and years of having that particular Play-Doh smell, and you know exactly what I'm talking about, they decided to add scents to it. In 2020, Play-Doh, something like, I don't know, let me look here real quick. Well, it doesn't say. Uh, but they had a huge surge in their sales. Uh, part of it was because parents were looking for something to do with their kids while they sat at home under quarantine or, uh, you know, under lockdown. But part of it was because Play-Doh decided to add some scents to their, and I didn't say scents, scents. They decided to add some smells to their Play-Doh that's different than original. In fact, here are some of the 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 cells they added. Um, the notable examples of their smells are overpriced latte, Lord of the Lawn, Mom Jeans, and Grill King. <laughs> Anyhow, all of a sudden adults wanted to have Play-Doh around again, and they were buying it up as fast as they could make it. They liked the smell of it. They liked what they what their kids would do with it. They liked playing with it with their kids. They liked engaging their kids in, in, in something that was creative. And uh, so they found it interesting. But a lot of people talked about how much they enjoyed working with it just because they liked the smell of it. Did you ever think about what smells good to God? Think about it. The Bible tells us that there is something that smells good to God. In Revelation chapter 5, verse 8, it says, And when he had taken it, the four living creatures and 24 elders fell down before the Lamb. Each one had a harp, and they were holding golden bowls of incense, which are the prayers of God's people. Incense is a sweet-smelling smoke. You know what it is. It's, it's something that you light, and it sends up a smoke that... that that is a sweet smelling, good smelling smoke that improves the smell of a room. Well, the incense to God, the smell that God enjoys, the thing that that is a sweet smelling incense to God are the prayers of his people. You have to remember that we were designed, we were created for fellowship, fellowship with God. God wanted a being that had a free will that would choose to fellowship with him. And so that's why, number one, man was created, and that's why, number two, man was given a free will to choose whether or not we were going to engage with God, whether or not we were going to obey God, and all of these kinds of things. God didn't want robots. He wanted people that would choose to want to be engaged in a relationship with him. And that's why when we do, that's why when we take the time to talk to him, that it becomes a sweet, a sweet smelling incense to God. Let me ask you something. When was the last time you really prayed? I don't mean said a prayer before a meal, but sat down putting everything else aside and just took time to talk to God and became that sweet-smelling aroma in the nostrils of God. You can do it today. You can do it right now. Just take the time to tell him what's on your heart. Take the time to tell him your joys and your fears, your concerns, your prayers, the things you're thankful for, the things you're worried about. Take the time to give him time to let him know that you love him. Let's do that right now. Pray with me if you will. 
Heavenly Father, as we bow in your presence this morning, we thank you for your love and your blessing. We thank you, Father, for meeting with us each day. We thank you for the beautiful sunrise. We thank you, Father, for an awareness of your presence that right here in this moment, right now, wherever the person might be that is watching this, you are there. Father, I pray that this morning as we just approach your throne, that you understand that you, that's, that's, that's condescending. You understand everything. But Father, we just pray that you would recognize that right now we just want to be in your presence. We want to commune with you. We want to fellowship with you. We want to hear from you. We want to understand you better. We want you to know that we love you. Father, bless the time we share here today in these few moments. And Father, thank you for caring enough to give us this moment. Not only is it perhaps sweet for you, but Father, it is a blessing for us. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you have a wonderful day today. Hope it's a day filled with blessing. And uh, uh, I guess I'll see you tomorrow, Lord willing. God bless.